think we got it. Mm. Mm. Think we're good? I think we're good. My Apple Watch is reminding me to move today. We'll see about that. I'm gonna be getting ready. I'm listening to a true crime podcast. So that's fun. Cause I can't listen to music apparently when you're on YouTube, apparently that's a thing. So I'm gonna be listening to true crime. If I make a horrible face, it's because I'm listening to horrible things. Uh, I don't know what we're getting into today, but I decided I wanted to get ready and put effort into this, which I never do. Not that you guys care about what I do with my makeup. But you know you're here. You're here for the ride. So let's put this hair up and get to work. Ugh. Good enough. Good enough for what we're doing. So I go in with my... I've been really liking this moisturizer. Oh, look at me. What a guru. And it's still not showing up. Um, it is the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. I'm just going to say, I didn't know if I was going to like this. I got it because it was on a good deal on the Ulta... What was it called? The 30 Days or 31 Days of Beauty Sale. I've been wanting to try it, but it's also... Um, First Aid Beauty is just not the cheapest brand just to try and you don't know if you're gonna like it or not but it was on sale I don't know what this lighting is about whatever it is what it is I don't feel like getting my lights out but anyway um I wanted to try it but I don't have super dry skin I would say I have normal skin with oily moments thrown in there I would not classify myself as dry but I really like that moisturizer I know, surprise to both of us, I guess. So, I want to get some SPF because I don't know how much I'm going to be going outside. I ran out of my normal one. I normally use um, Paula's Choice. I think it's like SPF 30. I ran out. So, I got the Sun Bomb SPF 50. So, we'll try this out. I have yet... I it's sealed because it's literally my first time using it. Oh, that's going to end up on Pornhub probably. Okay. Okay, definitely smells like sunscreen, but it doesn't feel, as of right now, does not feel super greasy. Uh, so like I was saying, I got some things from the Ulta Beauty whatever sale because it was like all 50% off and your girl is on a budget and likes a good sale. So, my go-to mascara, hold on. is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High. This, I, my first tube of it, I've only used it a few times and I absolutely love it. I was trying to find a dupe for the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Hold on, I gotta put this back. In my, in my brazier. I love the Tarte one. I love how it applies on my eyelashes. Love it. But it wears terribly. It's horrible. You have a raccoon eyeball situation for days. For days. I hate it. But the application looks so damn good. So good. It's so frustrating. So I love the Maybelline one that's in here at the moment. Um, if you don't know what I'm doing with this situation, if you put your mascara in your bra or like your uh, pants, something that gives it like body heat, it will do science, basically. And it just applies really smooth. I get less clumps. I really like it. I don't know. I don't know the science. I just know I like it. Okay, so I put it, I put these girls to work, essentially. But anyway, I wanted to try the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara in black. So I'm going to put this... Let's see. Let's see what the wand looks like. I don't like a big, clumpy, bumblebee looking wand. My eyelashes, you can't really tell. They're not super thin to begin with. So that, when I put that on with the really big, clumpy wands, it's just too much for me. It doesn't look good at all. I like a really, let's see, does this have a picture on it? The wand 
is what oh poo is what interested me because it looked not as clumpy not as big Ooh. so that's what it looks like I prefer wands like this which is very reminiscent of the Maybelline one so I'm going to stick this in here at the end when I do my mascara I'm going to compare it to the Maybelline because Lord knows Maybelline is cheaper than Benefit but I wanted to try it out and see I always start off with chapstick if I remember but if I remember I start off with chapstick and I'm loving these Summer Fridays uh what's it called lip butter balm and it's in vanilla I love it I hate the tube though because I feel like it really uh what's the word it's so easy for it to like ooze out and then you waste so much of it you know what I mean but I love this stuff love it I'm only listening to Killer Queen's podcast I'm listening episode 160 the Oklahoma Girl Scout Murders Oklahoma Girl Scout Murders I feel like I had to say that again it's the first episode I've listened from them oh this lighting got so much better Anyway, the first episode I've listened to this podcast, I really like it. It's, I've been in avoid, I love true crime. I've been avoiding podcasts of it though. I don't know why. But I needed like a new genre. I was doing motivational ones. And after a while, you just get bored. I don't always want to be a hashtag girl boss. Sometimes I want to listen about things that are, inter, not, I shouldn't say entertaining. That's really sick. But something not motivational does that make sense also call her daddy daddy gang i'm married i don't know if I'm, i can be daddy gang honorary elderly daddy gang member <laughs> anyway i want to try contouring i don't normally contour i don't know what's gotten into me today I love this stuff. This is the best foundation I've ever tried and it has SPF 50 and it is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I love this stuff. Love it. And I'm cheap as heck but I love this stuff. If I make a horrible face, it's because I'm listening to horrible things. messed up oh damn it so this is the essence camouflage concealer shade 20 light ivory <laughs> this is the only powder in my opinion that's worth your time and I'm just going to eh, 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 just under the eye, just not really baking, just to set it. So something else I got from Ulta during the sale is this Jane Irid, whatever I don't know, Jane Iridel or Ear something, just kissed lip and cheek stain in the shade forever peach so we're gonna try that i have no idea if i'm gonna like it or not ah Ooh. oh lord lord help me okay that's not terrible i guess i don't know how it's gonna work I don't know how I'm going to feel about this, if I'm being honest. Sorry for the zoom in. We're going for it. <laughs> Cute. Let's do this, too. I have no idea what I'm doing. Winging it. Hmm. 
Hmm, that's actually not terrible. At least on my little screen on my camera. Huh, I'm actually a little impressed. I fell about half. It smells like a cra uh, arts and crafts project though. I don't know what I expected it to smell like. Like sweet. Mm, not terrible. Let's see here. I'm winging it. Ooh, pretty. Hmm. We love a multi-purpose queen. So since that's the end of my creams and whatnot, I'm gonna set. I set many times. I press it in. Pretty! And watch when I go to edit this, I'm gonna be like, oh my god. You un you didn't blend. Go in with a little bronzer. This is from Re Makeup Revolution. It's super cheap. I don't know the shade. Mega bronzer number one cool. Just enough to add a little bit of color. Not too much. Uh, it Cosmetics, your skin but better. Airbrush perfecting powder. Again, SPF 50. I love It Cosmetics. I just wish it was cheaper. I'm feeling pretty. Alrighty, so I love the Raw Beauty Christy Pure Palette. I also love her ColourPop collection. I just love everything Raw Beauty Christy does. But my go-to, like, everyday shade is this one. It's Moo, Moo Point. So what I do is get a big fluffy brush. And I just kind of go in the crease. Just a little bit of color. And also it will set the cream blush a little bit too. Just enough for a little dimension, little color. Nothing crazy. Well, springtime color moment. I'm listening to this podcast, and one of the sponsors is Best Fiends. I would like to know who actually plays Best Fiends. Because it is a sponsor in, like, everything. Literally everything. Everyone supposedly loves it. I would like to know. Also, Best Fiends, if you'd like to sponsor me, let me know, okay? I'm sure I'll love it. We'll find out. Maybe I'm crazy, but maybe I'm not terrible at this. Hmm. Sisters, not twins. Sometimes more distant cousins. Sometimes that's what we go for. Not terrible. I don't care enough to wash it off even if I didn't like it. So, mascara time. You don't get to see this action. <laughs> so, let's try the Benefit one. Hmm. I don't know if it's the lighting. But I feel like it's making my eyeball look droopy. So, with something with nothing. Hmm. I'm going to do the other eye. I thought about doing one Maybelline, one Benefit, but I don't feel like it, so I'm not going to. I'm going to be honest, I like it. Um, I don't dislike it. I like, I mean, it looks very pretty. It looks very nice, but do I think it's better than this one for a fraction of the price? No. I just don't. It's very, it is good. It's good. I'm going to see how it wears before I give my final opinion. It's good. But I'm cheap and the other one works good too. I'm going to get this stuff again. The cheek stain. Hmm. Alright, so last set for the day. It's the Milani Make It Last Sunscreen. This has SPF 30. So... There we go. I'm gonna be honest. 
I like the Morphe one better. The sprayer, I like it better. But I like that this one has SPF in it. So I feel like it gives me like one last protection. You know what I mean? Protection. <sighs> Rub the sun. I don't feel like doing anything to my hair today other than brush it and maybe leave it down or maybe leave it up. And we'll see how I feel throughout the day. Ew. Yeah, I don't feel like doing anything. So this is as good as it's going to get. Good. Let's do other things. We love a natural queen. <laughs> you guys want to see the perfect combo I've come up with for the best smelling house the perfect candle combo and all of them came from Target let me show you I'm so excited ah! so the cozy nights candle I have it lit from my room blushing amber in the living room I love those two together they smell so good I just picked up this bad boy yesterday from Target look how big it is and it was only $12 for that big boy. And I got the smell. This is the label. Cashmere Vanilla. Three candles just put throughout the house. I have a pretty small house. But the three smells go so good together. It's like the perfect cozy house smell. It's not too sweet. Not too clean. I love it. And it's the one that is husband approved. We, where is it? We love it. Uh, objective for the day, job project. Hard to believe that YouTube's not my job yet. I know it's hard to believe, but I want to do something fun for work tomorrow. So we're gonna come with me to the store to do that. Cause I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet. I also might eat too. Look at my sweet little helper. Hi Finny boy. Look at that tail wagon. I wish I was that happy to do dishes. So dishes are done. That's my very legit way of drying my dishes. And I realized um, I have the food cooking for lunch. And I'm gonna have enough food for leftovers for at least one more meal. But I realize that's not quite enough. So I brought out ye old crock pot and I grabbed this out of the freezer. I'm just gonna stick this in there, put it on low, and it'll be dinner or me and my husband will split it, we'll cut it up into pieces and we'll have this for lunch for work because we both have to go to work tomorrow. So I got some lunch, I got some mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, and my steak with some white gravy. I have one extra steak, some more potatoes, and mac and cheese. Yes, I know, I went a little overboard. Um, but this is going to be either lunch for me and or hubby tomorrow. Um, if we have enough leftovers, then we'll eat that with this. Um, but yeah. I like to make things that we get at least two meals out of it. So I don't eat this for lunch every day, but I'll be able to have more meals from it at some point. So it's also my day off and I'm gonna enjoy it. So yeah. Well, I was getting ready to show you my outfit, but the neighborhood cat showed up. So Theodore is here. Good morning, Theo. Let me show you my outfit. You're on the bumper of my car. So mom jeans from Target, sandals from Target, this pretty sagey green, like ruffly shirt. TJ Maxx, Cynthia Rowley brand. White sweater, cardigan, TJ Maxx, Target. And my necklace is from an artist in Seattle, and earrings, a uh, gift from someone who went to Hawaii. Don't know where. So, that's what I'm looking like. Let's go. Alrighty, we are 
about ready to go. I had to go inside the house and make sure I blew out all my candles approximately 10 times before I actually left. And now I'm winded. <sighs> and then I made a TikTok of my outfit because I feel kind of cute and I never dress up. Oh, I have a very, uh, not gross, but it's kind of a gross job if I do say so myself. And there's no point in dressing up or looking cute, really. I work with dogs outside. I'm out in the elements and I'm scooping poop and it's not glamorous. And anyone who's gonna say, oh my gosh, you play with puppies all day long. No, I don't play with puppies all day long. Couldn't tell you the last time I've seen a puppy. Okay? Don't come at me with that. No, sir. So, we're gonna go shopping. And let me tell you what my project I'm thinking of. So, like I said, I work with dogs. I am a kennel manager for a boarding facility, training facility, and make sure shit gets done. That's my job. I'm not really a trainer, don't ask. But I love doing the social media part of it. And for Easter, we did like a little impromptu, we had like little Easter bunny ears, and we took pictures of all the dogs. And it was so much fun, and the Owners of the dogs loved it when we posted it on Facebook. So, I, mean, I am winded. Oh, good God. <laughs> anyway, um, I really want to start doing that for like all the holidays or do like little themes. Like nothing crazy. I don't want to put a lot of money into it because I don't want the dogs to chew the props and I'm out of money. But anyway, I want to start doing that for holidays. I think it's a really cute idea. So, I don't know when this will be uploaded, but today is Saturday. <coughs> Excuse me. Today is Saturday, the day before Mother's Day. So, I want to go to the store and get some Mother's Day springy themes. Maybe some flowers or something. I'm not sure what I have in mind yet. But, I'm excited. I want to go see because I have to work tomorrow. So, I can spend my day, well, part of my day, taking pictures. A Mother's Day themed photo shoot. That's pretty cool, right? I think it's adorable. I would love to see that if my dog was somewhere. So, um, let's go. I don't know where I'm going yet, but we're going to go somewhere. So, hey. And welcome to Killer Queens, a true crime podcast. I'm your host, Torella. And I'm your better, prettier, younger host, Tori. We're sisters who are obsessed with true crime and love gal palin with you about cases. You can expect the occasional curse word, lots of friends quotes, and all the 90s nostalgia. To get in on the call. And my neighborhood cat made an appearance. But the problem is, is I'm backing out of my driveway. And I don't know where he went, so I don't know. We're hoping for the best. There he is, he's in the grass, we're in the clear. I can floor it! So, I just got out of Big Lots, which was my first store, and I'm very disappointed because there was no spring stuff, hardly any summery, no seasonal things, really, at all. It's like it had already sold out. Or like, it was like the big stuff, but I don't need big stuff. I was looking for like flowers or like a wreath or something. But, I mean, I did get a few things just in case all the stores were so picked over. I had something. So, this is probably my most proud item. I got a little fedora and a watermelon scarf. I got a big one and a little one. <laughs> that tickles me so much for some reason. So, I got that. I also got this um, tassel garland, which I figure I can use for like anything basically it doesn't have to be this um they also had in case I, if the weather's bad and i need to take pictures inside i got like this iridescent rainbowy i don't know i think maybe like a backdrop or something i don't know um and some stars like they really like they didn't have any party supplies or anything so i'm a little disappointed but we're gonna go to other places so hopefully there, it's better other places because that was really sad. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, what can I get for you? Um, can I get a grande cold brew with extra vanilla sweet cream foam? 
and three pumps of white mocha. Alright, anything else? No, that'll be it. Alright, coming in for your order? Kayla. Perfect, it's 584 at the window. Alright, thank you. Thank you. I need Starbucks after that shit show of a Big Lots experience. <sighs> okay, so I want to show you my Starbucks order. Because I'm parked outside of the Dollar Tree. You can see it right there. The Dollar Tree. Look at my beautiful. So yes, it is a grande cold brew with extra vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Three pumps white mocha. If I get a venti, I get five or six pumps. But for a grande, I get three. You know, if I'm feeling spicy, I'll get six in a venti. I don't know if I'm going to record in the store. My plan was to record in Big Lots, and that was a disappointment. So That was so good. It's like the perfect sweet, but not too, too sweet coffee really good some old man just whipped by my car I tell you what people act just because I was raised with Jesus in my life that I won't throw hands oh I liked her hair it's beautiful but no I will throw hands and ask for forgiveness later don't become swerving at my car like that no sense in that mm. y'all Dollar Tree is just where it's at I wanted to film but there's so many people it was absolutely packed because it's the day before Mother's Day <sighs> it's packed but I got some goods all right so hear me out I got some ideas All right, so first off, for like a summery photo shoot, I have bumblebee wings. For my patriotic times, 4th of July, Memorial Day, etc., etc. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got all these flowers and balloons and all this stuff. My battery's gonna die, so I don't wanna get in too in depth, but um, tonight we're gonna be doing some DIYs. I think and it's gonna be really fun. So I'm excited. I'm so glad I found stuff because Big Lots kind of broke my heart. I'm not gonna lie, Big Lots kind of broke me, but Dollar Tree never let me down. They never give up on me. I feel like I was gonna quote a song and it just didn't work out. So and it's Dollar Tree, so it's really cheap. It's like a dollar. It's like a dollar. It is a dollar. <laughs> but no, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Ugh. I think it's my spirit animal. Let's do a little haul, shall we? I'm not naked underneath. I'm just comfy in a robe with my eye patches on. But I thought I'd do a little haul, as you will. So for Mother's Day, my theme is, this is my experimental flower. Um, but this is going to be like, like that. Um, and then I'm going to put these flowers going around it. Uh, what else did I get? Y'all, I got so many themes. My dogs hate it. They're watching me. I was thinking we could do a graduation theme next month. So I got these balloons. Two graduation themed headbands. Little smiley faces with little cap and gown. And this one is like black and gold. And it has little stars that say reach for the stars. But I thought that was really cute. I thought it was just a cute springy one. Oh, I got some. Just hold on to this one. Oh, man. So they had a luau theme. Can you believe that? So I got a lei and a coconut bra. Oh, my God. Some sunglasses. Pineapples and flowers. And these could just go for, like, any time in the summer, you know what I'm saying? Ladybug, patriotic stuff, which I'm thinking 4th of July, Labor Day, whatever, Memorial Day. I always get them mixed up. But I got this headband, 
the little stars. Not focusing very well. This one with little things and a little tiara. And then I got these little top hats. There's like five of them in there, I think. To conclude our Mother's Day photo shoot haul. Keep in mind, all this is only a dollar each. That's not bad at all. I got this balloon arch strip. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but it's only a dollar. So if not, it's no big deal. Again, only a dollar. Mom balloons. Hello. This scared my dog. And then I got pink and red balloons. I got a pump because Lord knows I'm not blowing all those balloons by myself. So my project is going to be balloons and flower thing. I got my eye patches on. I got my comfy robe. And I got a white cloth. Finn, are you going to help me? You know you're going to be conned into doing all this stuff. Because you come to work with me every day. Look at that excitement. Can't wait to dress you up. So I'm watching Jade. You've been here for a while. You Jade the Libra. I love her video. She's so, I love that she's so herself. I love her. And I am working on my wreath. So I will be back. So all I'm doing is ripping the flowers off the things. They're so cheap. It doesn't matter. Finn is helping me. And I just but, uh, they usually shove it in there somehow. It's hard doing it with one hand, but that's basically all I'm doing. Uh, so I'll, the I'll update you soon. There's Ruby, shotgun rider. She ready to go. So the day is done. And I'm a little disappointed. If I can, if I can figure it out, I will post some of my photo shoot pictures. It was a really rainy day. Well, not rainy, but it was like gray and cloudy and windy. So the balloons kept flying and they wouldn't stay still and then they'd scare the dogs. And then we kept losing light because it was a gray day. So everything was dark and I was kind of bummed out. So I'm sorry this is a very anti-climatic video, but Ruby's excited, look at that face. Um, I'm sorry this is anti-climatic, but sometimes you make these big plans and it just doesn't work out. You know what I'm saying? Hi Ruby. So, um, I hope you enjoyed my first vlog. I know it was a fail. Don't know if there's much point to it. Um, but expect more pointless content coming your way because I kind of enjoy doing this. So, bye! <laughs> you ready to go home? Waiting for Perry. Paired. Finny. Ben. Hi, buddy. You ready to go home? <laughs>